We've got our oil in here. We've got four and a half ounces of oil. It simply goes on the machine here. We've put in four and a half ounces of oil to make sure that it, uh, it doesn't get too low during the fill process uh, and starts to draw air in. We can see on the side here the graduated oil, how much oil we're putting in. So now we're going we're gonna to add the oil to the system. We're going to press the inject oil to add oil and you'll see it go in. We've got it in a vacuum so the oil is going to be drawn right into the system because of the low pressure area. So we're going to hold the inject oil and you can see the oil being drawn into the system because of the low pressure area we've vacuumed it down. That's the best way to add oil. There are other ways to oil, add oil to the system. Uh, this is the best way. We're going to charge the system. Manufacturer's specification is three pounds. If you wanted to go to kilograms, uh, you go back to the main menu and you change it to kilograms. That's outlined in the manual. We've got 3.00 pounds. We're going to use charge to toggle between charging with the high side, the low side, or both. We can use both sides. It's just a little quicker to get the refrigerant in. We'll hit charge. Hit the yes button and we're going to fill it. The machine at this point uh, should be left alone because if we touch it there's an internal scale in there that could be thrown off and uh, cause it to undercharge the system. It'll beep to tell us that we've completed the charge. Equalize hoses. We're not going to do that at this point. The equalizing hoses is done as the very last step. If you equalize the hoses now, what you're doing is you're drawing the last of the refrigerant into the system. We want to performance test this system for at least 15 minutes at approximately 1500 RPM to see if the system in fact is working properly. 90% of malfunctions will show up within the first 15 minutes of operating the system. So it's a good test to verify that we are in fact cooling the system. As we're performance testing the vehicle for 15 minutes, we're going to watch to see what the temperature is on our temperature gauge. We've got that in the center dash. Maximum AC, doors, windows closed, and fan on high. You can see we're cooling down nicely. Because we're sitting stationary and running it, there's no ram airflow over the condenser. So you'll hear the fan cycle on and off as the pressures increase in the system. There's a fan switch that will come on. If you look at the high pressure gauge, you'll see that the high pressure gauge will come up to a point where it'll trip the fan on. The fan will come on. As the fan causes the uh, condenser to cool, it will drop the pressure in the system and the fan will cycle out. Once we've tested the fan, they recommend that you turn the fan, if there's a fan switch, turn it on to fan on all the time. That'll help to cool it more. Once we've got down to a decent temperature, we also want to make sure that that clutch cycles on and off on the compressor. The easiest way to test that is at the end of the 15 minutes performance test, just before we end it, we'll turn the blower down to the lowest setting. So in this case, it's number one. We'll turn it down now to number one, and we can watch the compressor clutch. If you look at the compressor clutch, you'll see it cycle on and off. 